Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com to purchase this Grubel 4C. It is Grubel 4C, but in a different form than you might imagine. Grubel 4C watches are known for being huge and hugely complicated. This watch is neither. Launched for 2021 based on the Balancier Contemporain that launched in 2019, this is the red gold version of the watch. And it is wearable. 39.6 millimeters in diameter, it is 12.6 millimeters thick, and 47.1 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it wears compact, similar in feel to a 40 millimeter FP Journe. It's slim enough to slide underneath a dress cuff, and you can see it's not often that I can compare a Grubel 4C to a Journe in terms of wrist fit because the Grubels tend to be huge. This one isn't that. As a result, it's a rare Grubel 4C that gives you their fine finish and uncompromising standards in a package that could very well be a unisex option, or should you prefer, a discreet option for a man. This timepiece is suitable for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Taking a look at the strap, Grubel 4C gives you a good one. It is a large rectangular scale alligator leather with some volume. It's bolstered inside to give it that volume. It has a folded edge, a monotone stitch, and as you can see on the underside, this is a Grubel 4C factory strap in brand new condition. The skin on the bottom is calf. It features a Grubel buckle, and as you can see, alternating polish and satination. It is Grubel 4C branded. If you look, you can see the Grubel 4C engraving on the buckle. Taking a look at the case, Robert Grubel tends to take the lead in style of these watches, and Stephen 4C oversees the technical aspects of engineering. And you can see one of Grubel's signatures is this lovely mirrored concave profile to the lugs. This gets lost in a lot of the coverage of Grubel 4C watches. The cases are actually quite beautiful. There's a vertical satin finish through the mid case, and then there's a polished, slightly vertical and then conical bezel. You can see that the bezel cuts below the peaks of the lugs, so the lugs can be big, broad, and full, but the bezel doesn't have to sit on top of them, which would add thickness, so it cuts down into the lugs. You can also see the case back is polished and it's also slightly set back so that when the watch is on the wrist it looks even thinner than it is. The crystal is designed to evoke the cambered plexiglass crystals of the mid 20th century. It has a dramatic curvature to it which is difficult to achieve and not cheap. The movement is quite simply gorgeous. Manual wine, twin mainspring barrels, 72 hour power reserve. There is a white gold scale that is lacquered to give you the hours. That is the power reserve scale. There's a fired blue steel power reserve indicator so that little scale right there is in white gold you can see the hands here have been fired to create that lovely glossy cobalt metallic blue and then the dial itself is made of solid gold all of the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference and then you can see that the bridges have been frosted I believe Grubel Force uses a wire brush for frosting the watch does feature take note hacking seconds something that seems to be rare in high horology independent brand watches hard to find for example on any F Pijorn. Grubel 4C, though, giving it to you here, as this watch is all about simplicity, its focus is on beauty and chronometry. Now, the timepiece features an enormous proprietary free-sprung balance. You can see the variable polar moment bolts recessed into its profile to make them more aerodynamic. It is also a huge balance that's reflected from the underside by a polished titanium plate. The balance bridge and it is a balance bridge, is combined with a free-sprung architecture to make this a fairly shock-tolerant watch. It has a handmade overcoil profile, so in any position, and it is timed in six positions, it will keep even time. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it's all 30 meters water resistant, so please don't take it swimming. You can see the edges of the bridges when viewed from the side, they're actually polished on their outer lips, and there's a mirrored englage a mile wide on the edge of each of these frosted bridges. You can see that there is an elaborate steel structure that forms the base of the hands and the cannon pinion is polished on its top and the centers of the hands are mirror polished within their wells. All of the wheels are satinated, and they've actually been chamfered inside their inner circumference as well as their spokes. That is a very rare refinement that few watchmakers take the time to execute. You can see that the entire bridge is black polished, and then its edge has a mirrored englage. Note, there are no fewer than eight individual interior angles where bevels meet in sharp cleft lines on that bridge. Flip it all over, and you can see that the watch includes super graphics, or 
the textual philosophy of Grubel Forcey. Of course, it is en français, but it speaks of traditional craft, maintaining traditional techniques, savoir-faire or know-how, bienfacteur, which is making things with a fine quality, beautiful manufacturing, architecture, creativity, all of this is what's expressed here. It, it translates fairly well to English, but just know this is what it is. It's their philosophy of watchmaking. You can see on the case back, as well as on the dial side, we have golden chaton fixing these pivot jewels. That's a nod to the pocket watch era. And then you can see that the text itself is polished. And then the recess behind it, media blasted for contrast, is a truly spectacular watch. And again, if you want to speak of the finest finish in the business, you're talking about Philippe Dufour, Chronometrie Fernand Berthoud, Romain Gautier, maybe even Laurent Ferrier, Carry Voudelainen, but Grubel Forsey is right up there. Most would put Grubel Forsey in the top three. And Grubel, of course, making only about 100 to 120 watches a year out of Le Chaux de Fonds. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for pricing.